what is AP and GP? We did that. And AP, once again, if we see, and AP has a common difference, which is called D, and has also two most defining things about an arithmetic program uh, progression is the first term, which is also called T1, and the common difference. In case of geometric progression, we have a common ratio existing between the consecutive terms, which is R, and the first term again, much the same way as in case of an arithmetic progression, that is A. So you have the common difference here and here you have a common ratio, first term remains the same. Now what is left to understand is how do we relate the first term and the common difference. Say for example here in this case the first term would be A, the second term would be A plus D, the third term would be A plus D plus D because there is a common difference that exists. Then the fourth term would be A plus 2D plus D that is A plus 3D and so on and so forth. Here what will it be? The first term is going to be A. Since there is a common ratio, the second term would be AR. So that AR upon A is R. The third term, yes, you guess this right. You have to multiply further by R, that is AR squared. The fourth term would be AR cubed. Fifth term would be AR raised to 4. That means each term, each consecutive term is multiplied by the common ratio. Here each consecutive term is to, to each of these consecutive terms, you add the common difference. So this is once again stressing on or accenting on what the difference between an arithmetic progression and geometric progression is. Let's move on further. Okay, let's take some simple examples, A, P and G, P series. Say for example, here you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 20. You see this is the series of even numbers. Here, A, the first term is 2 and the common difference D is also 2. So that the first term is 2, second term is 2 plus 2, third term is 2 plus 2 times 2 and so on and so forth. Here, if you see, A is 1 and the common difference is nothing but T2 minus T1. That is 4 minus 1, which is 3 or 7 minus 4, 3 or 10 minus 7, 3. T2 minus T1 is 3. This is the common difference. So each term is 3 more than the previous term starting with 1. Here how do you have A is 1 and T2 minus T1. More specifically every Tn minus Tn minus 1 is if you see minus 2 minus 1 that is minus 3, t2 minus 2 minus 1, 3, similarly minus 5 minus of minus 2 is minus 3. So this is defined in terms of 1 as the first term and the common difference is 2. So in each of this, these we observe that a common difference exists between consecutive terms. Now here for example you have GP series, what do you have if you see all these are powers of 2. So the first term is 2, second term is 2 into 2 square, 2 into 2, third term is 2 into 2 cube and so on. So R is nothing but Tn upon Tn minus 1. So if you see 4 by 2 which is 2, 8 by 4, 2. So you can take it as 4 by 2 or 8 by 4 or whatever. The common difference is, common ratio I am sorry is 2. So in this case, a is 2 and R is also 2. So this is geometric progression. I do hope that you are able to understand the difference between the two. Here you have to divide each term by the previous term and you see that the ratio remains constant. Here you subtract each term from the next term and you find that there exists a common difference. Similarly this one if you see here A is 1. And R is nothing but 3 upon 1 or 9 by 3 or 27 by 9 or 81 by 27 and so on and so forth. And this turns out to be 3. In short, these are all various powers of 3. 3 raised to 0, 3 raised to 1, 3 squared, 3 cubed, 
3 raised to 4, this is 3 raised to 0. So, in each of these, the ratio of every term to the previous term is constant, which is 3. Now, the point is, where do we use? We use them in calculating EMI, depreciation, or even compound interest. If you see the compound interest amount formula is P into 1 plus R by 100 the whole raised to n. If you see p remains the same, r remains the same, but this n keeps on. So, each amount a2 by a1 will always be 1 plus r by 100. So, here if you see this is geometric progression. Similarly, for depreciation, it is going to be p into 1 minus r by 100, the whole raised to n. So, even here the ratio of a2 to a1, a3 to a2 is going to be 1 minus r upon so, these are the ways we end up calculating. We use the concept of geometric progression in case of EMI calculations as well as depreciation, compound interest formulae. These are the ways we apply. So, this gives you a decent overview, I suppose, I hope so, of what AP and GP series are all about.